the Chris Long Bowl, if you will, Eagles Patriots. Um, what was your takeaway from that game, Chris? I love the the Eagles D line. That's my takeaway. Obviously, you know, from the Patriots side, I think you got to come away a little bit encouraged. I don't know if that sounds weird to Pats fans, but Mac Jones looked more like Mac Jones. I mean, that's more like the guy I know. Um, you know, now he did let that that ball get away from them, and that ended up being the difference in the game on the pick. But, you know, I thought that that there's something there with this defense. They kept the points down. They took the middle of the field away. Goddard didn't really get involved. Um, they heated Jalen up in key situations. Uh, and honestly, you've got 10 points to come off of the Zeke fumble and the pick six. So from, from the Pat standpoint, I'm pretty excited for them. You know, not like high key excited, like low key excited. Now, when it comes to the Eagles, that D-line's the engine, and they took 29 snaps in the fourth quarter, and that's exhausting, and that's the reason you have the guys platooning. Jalen Carter, I was told, is the best defensive player on that roster. Wow. Okay, I was told that in preseason, mm -hmm. um, and he looked like it yesterday. I mean, when he gets tilted in that three technique, and he gets out a little wide, the guards are really uncomfortable because they're thinking, I got to set out to this big old guy. And he's got that inside move down. I thought um, 93, the kid from Louisiana Tech, uh, played really well. And then my guy, Fletcher Cox, who late in his career has had to take on this more of this vet role. You know, sometimes that's hard. You, you're you not going to be on the field all the time. They have a chance to tie this game. It's 22-14. Fletch on the same drive. Pressure early in the, in the drive. Then he's got a TFL on a key down. And he forces an incompletion uh, that gets him off the field on another pressure. So I just love seeing Fletcher Cox um, show up in that big spot, you but, know, especially with the role he's got. But the eye test, I mean, Mac Jones looked in, in this game um, certainly to put a couple touchdowns up on the board in time for Tom Brady's um, ceremony at halftime to be more of a celebration of a game that wasn't a blowout and an actual competition. Um, he looked He looked far better in this game than I saw maybe any point last year, Chris, just the eye test. Well, alone. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's, it's, he threw some really nice tight window balls over the middle of the field. Like they, they got to get back to that. The touchdowns were nice. Um, you know, it's, it's, he's got a real offensive coordinator. And I think the <laughs> stuff that Bill ran at Bama, you know, you can, you can, you can draw some things from that. Um, I think Mac's going to be a lot more comfortable. But on the Eagles side, the one thing I would look at is, you know, linebacker room. Nicobe Dean might miss some time. You know, Ellis is out there. He might not not be out. He, in an ideal world, he's not on the field as much as he is. Uh, it's a room that they've been able to overlook because they have great D linemen. Uh, but that's, that's a level of defense I'm a little bit concerned about. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.